New tonight, a man is facing multiple charges for a crash that sent a school bus full of kids into a ditch in Durham. Four children had to be taken to the hospital. Our Eric Miller has the story. Philip Turner heard it before he saw it. A driver plowing into the side of a Durham school bus. The car went off in the gravel and the bus skidded off and went off in the ditch here. Turner and his wife were working a block away and rushed to the scene. What they found when they got there was just plain scary. When it went into the ditch, their children slid off the seat and fell into the other seats on top of other children. That's how bad the bus was leaning. Turner disconnected the bus's battery, which had started to smoke, and then helped the kids off the bus. They were all shook up and pretty scared. According to State Highway Patrol, the crash happened around 340 on East Gear Street near Summerlin Road. The school bus was carrying 26 students from the School for Creative Studies. Four kids, ages 17, 16, 12, and 11, had to be taken to the hospital with minor injuries. In a press release, State Highway Patrol says the driver who allegedly caused the crash, Tommy J. Cachada, is facing a long list of charges, including reckless driving and driving with a revoked license. But the crash isn't what's most concerning for Philip Turner. How long did it take those ambulances to get here? To an hour and a half. WRAL Press, State Highway Patrol, and Durham EMS on why it took so long to get ambulances to the scene. According to SHP, the crash was first dispatched as having no injuries. Troopers only called for ambulances at 420 after they got to the scene. It then took those ambulances at least another 20 minutes to arrive. Durham County EMS says that's due to the removal remoteness of the crash scene. Tonight, State Highway Patrol is continuing its investigation into the crash. In Durham, Eric Miller, WRAL.